Yo, what's cracking YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be showcasing another masterpiece from GTA Wise Guy. And as you can see from the dashboard there, we are in the Futo. But this bad boy is the wide body Futo and it is, um, it is something special. Really is. It is really amazing. And as you can see, what he's done here is he's given more of a hatchback look. So it's a lot lot closer to the Toyota AE86 from real life and it's so fucking it just looks beautiful man looks so cool and this also comes with a drift and handling file as well so it's an add-on car and it handles like a drift car it is fucking unreal so what we're going to do quickly now is we're going to spawn in the original Futo and uh, get a side-by-side -side comparison so as you can see there's a big difference especially in the rear and uh, I hope everybody agrees in the GTA Wise Guys variation of this Futo is a lot better than Rockstar's variation of it um, mainly just because of that rear end it just looks so much better with a hatchback like that so much better and it, as you can see it has got a wide body on there as well from stock um, which looks fucking sweet as well and these wheels man on the on uh, GTA Wise Guys Futo are uh, insane so fucking cool man and um, from the front they are pretty much the same or what I say yeah they look the same to me uh, but like I said this one has the wide body from stock it has these crazy wide wheels on there deep dish wheels which look cool and obviously looks a lot better than that and then you get this rear end and it just looks so much nicer than the stock version of it or the rockstar version of it shall we say so much nicer so i'm excited about getting this into ls customs and customizing it so with that said let's get in there and customize this bitch so here we go as you pull into ls customs you will see it is six star carrying food to gt custom because six star is the name of uh, GTA Wise Guys crew is the six star crew and you can see it is actually on the tires uh, there as well which lo looks pretty cool so as always we're going to start this build with 100% body armor we're going to go to the brakes we're going to get race brakes bumpers front bumper so we do get a couple of options for the front bumper which is nice uh, these ones just look like the standard ones we get with a stock car uh, again they don't look too dissimilar to what we already have with uh, the original Futo which is the re retro racer and then we move over to the six star one so these are the GTA wise guy kits which he's brought to us in addition to you know the, the stock version of it so we get this one which is very similar to the stock version of it but it makes that front bumper a little bit lower which it does does it do anything to the rear no it is exactly the same except for that front bumper is a little bit lower then this one <laughs> this is just fucking amazing this looks so good we got the bolt on arches with this one and it just looks fucking sweet as hell man so we're gonna get this six star bolt on uh then we're gonna go to the rear bumper these ones again are the same as the rockstar version of the futo then we'll get an extending extension and then we've got the the extension with the, with the charm which is obviously the same as the rockstars and then you get the six star crew one which just looks better than the rest let's put it that way so we're going to grab that obviously then we've got the engine we're going to get level 4 exhausts ooh Shakatan. I think that's the same as the original Futo I'm not a fan even though it does look I don't know actually it looks quirky but I don't think I'm going to go over oh, I mean that probably looks the best the 6 star chrome tip exhaust obviously because it's been put on this car to bring it all together and make it look a certain way um, if you weren't with all the six star options but that actually looks quite I don't know it's growing on me the more I kind of want to dislike it the more I like it it's weird as fuck I really don't want to like it but I, I do <laughs> so strange I mean that one looks obviously looks cool it looks standard it looks good but that looks you know something different so because of that, and it doesn't look too bad, I'm going to go with it. Why the hell not? Then I'm going to go to the grill. We've got the standard. We've got the debadge, the remove. And that's different. Is that different? I want to say that's different. I can't remember seeing that on the original photo. Really don't recall seeing that. 
That actually looks quite cool though, so we're gonna go over. Then we've got the hood, so we've got the carbon hood and the vented carbon hood. Ah, shame we didn't get extra hoods on that to be honest. Um, but not a fan of carbon, so I'm gonna say stock for the hood. Then we're gonna go to lights, grab the Xeon lights, then we've got the I don't want to fuck with a plate. No, we don't. We're gonna go respray primary colour. Ah, what colour? I'm probably gonna go over black and white. Black and white is always the way to go with a car like this because it just looks awesome. So we're going to go Ice White Classic, Classic again, but we're going to go with black. And <laughs> look at that. Look at how fucking awesome that looks, man. That looks fucking crazy good. Well happy with that. Really am. Then we've got the roll cage. So we've got the roll cage fit. Oh, so the inside actually stays the same where obviously it switches out the driver's seat for a, uh, a race, a red race and bucket seat. But then we get this little decal on the side, which is a nice touch. Is that Japanese right? And I want to say, apologize if it's not Japanese, but it looks Japanese to me and it looks pretty awesome. So we're going to go with that bad boy. Fuck yeah. Then we've got the roof and oh, okay. So, for, so for roof, we get a trim going round the car. Actually, that looks quite good. I like that. So we're going to go with the trim pieces. Then we've got the skirts. Uh, custom skirt and then we've got the six side skirt uh, six star skirt sorry should we say and the six star skirt obviously looks the best so we're going to go with that one spoiler and then we've got the six star uh, chunky duck tail looks nice really like that finishes off that rear end quite nicely so we're going to go with that suspension we're going to go with a competition suspension we're going to get the race transmission and turbo tuning then we're going to go to the wheels the wheels now the yellow. I think if I go into here and move up and then move back, yeah, there we go. They changed to chrome again. Uh, the only reason they were yellow to start with was obviously because when I spawned it in, the car was yellow and it changed the rim color for some strange reason. So we're going to stay, quickly we'll choose that and then we'll go back so it doesn't change back. So we'll go stock wheels because why the hell would you want to change them because they're so unique and uh, awesome. You wouldn't want to change them. They look fucking awesome as hell. Then we've got the I'm pretty sure we can't change the wheel. No, we can't change the wheel color. Then we've got the tires, tire enhancements. We get the bulletproof tires and window tint to finish off the build as always. And there we go. That is that. And um, I'm pretty damn sure that everyone's going to agree. This looks fucking amazing. How cool does that look? We'll go quickly spawn in a photo once again and just do a side by side comparison. And look at that, look at the difference. How much better GTA Wise Guys Futo looks to Rockstar's Futo. Let's get in the first person. I know obviously the one on the right hand side now is all customized and complete. But even so, even a stock would look better anyway. But now it's all customized. You can see how much you can do to it and how much better it looks than Rockstar's version of it. Oh man, it just looks so cool. It's just such a shame that we can't have these vehicles actually in GTA Online for us to buy and customize. Um, Rockstar, for some reason, are reluctant to bring out a, a car DLC, like a proper racing car DLC, um, which baffles me because I think it would be such a big thing to online. I think it would bring a lot of players back to the game. I know they obviously they, they've still got big numbers because otherwise they would be thinking about more things to do like like this but the the problem i've got with gta online at the moment is that they're bringing out these crazy dlcs like jetpacks and all that sort of stuff but then people are buying them getting bored and they're not playing you know and that's the way i feel with it as well i think if they brought something else to the game like a proper street racing dlc where you could do stuff like this to a, to a vehicle and you know you had proper racing in it proper racing tracks i know it's not a racing game but they made they put more emphasis on the actual racing aspect of this game because i think it's been neglected somewhat i know they keep bringing out these stupid fucking um different racing modes where you can fly around the map or you you you're in a, on a jet ski and then you try go for a checkpoint you transition into a motorbike or something fucking stupid like that it's, it's ridiculous them sort of game modes don't interest me in the slightest i like proper street racing uh, modes on this game i actually used to race quite a lot in the early days of gta online believe it or not uh, on my original account i've got a shit ton of um trophies and wins i've got more wins than losses actually <laughs> i'm quite proud of that um so i used to actually race quite a lot in this game 
when it when it was first about for the first year or two, and um, yeah, then they started bringing out these stupid races. People weren't doing the, the original races, and it just died out. And I think that's a big shame because I think actually the the driving in this game is actually really good. I think the racing in this game, the mechanics of it, um, especially in the in the older cars, are actually really good. Um, but as as we move away from that now, we're going to talk more about this Futo. Um, so as you can see, I have obviously customised it. You've seen all the customization for it and how cool it fucking looks now. It's all customised. And I did mention at the beginning it has a drift and handling file attached to it. So it doesn't like going in a straight line. So um, we are going to try and find some corners to drift around if we can. It is very difficult. Um, if you did see my mod showcase on the Ford Mustang Hoonigan drift car, it is very, very similar to that. Um, it is, I think it's a little bit easier to control than the Hoonigan um, purely because the Hoonigan that I, that I showcased was um, very quick it had a lot of torque it felt like uh, and as soon as you hit down on the accelerator it would, it would spin out um, this doesn't feel as temperamental even though it does have the um, it definitely has the threat of doing that so you still have to be careful with it but it's a lot of fun Oh, and, and difficult. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't put enough emphasis on how difficult this actually is to drift. Um, it takes some getting used to. It does take practice to get good at it. And oh fuck me, I make myself look stupid now. What am I doing? There we go. That's a bit better. See how you drift around them corners, and and when you get it right, it actually looks really good. Um, when you get it wrong, it goes spectacularly wrong. Oh my god, it is so hard. <laughs> And um, not what you think. <laughs> oh, filthy mind. Oh my god, what am I talking about? Right, back to the car. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, let's try drifting around. Oh, what? No, I've completely lost it. No, what am I even doing? Well, it's this corner up on the left. We're going to try and drift around it. Why the fuck not? Here we go. That weren't much of a drift. That was more of a turn. Right, what about this one on the left? That weren't too bad. That was actually all right. What about this one on the left? Yeah, that that was pretty good. You know, if you do it right, it comes out okay. It's just if you get a bit impatient with it, it then you know bites you in the ass. But it, oh, oh, oh! Just clipped it. Just it was going too good. I was going too well. I knew something had to happen. But that was pretty sweet. See, when you do drift this well, and you practice a little bit at it, it actually looks really cool. You can't go too fast in them, um, because that's just just not going to work. It really isn't. You, you go too fast around the corners, um, you're fucked, and you'll just spin out, and you just won't drift. You'll power slide into something. <laughs> like, oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Full fucking, oh, you bastard, get out of my way. Come on, there we go. We'll go to find this corner. That's a little bit better. Look at that. And this one, I think I've hit. The, no, I've hit the brake. I hit the brake. Oh yeah, that's another thing. You can't hit the brake when you want to drift because it'll literally lock up the wheels and you're just going a straight line. But whoa, that was okay until I hit that car. But GTA Wise guy has done an amazing job on this car. Let's just quickly repair it real quick. All nicely repaired. Fucking beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, look at that GTA Wise guy's done a very good job at creating this vehicle. And uh, I think he had a petition out to get this DLC made, which is uh, Tuners and Outlaws. Um, hopefully, Rockstar is listening to the community. And at some point, they do release a, a DLC like this because I think it's going to be widely appreciated. And I think it's going to get a lot of people re-involved into GTA Online so uh, we can only live and dream I suppose but anyway that is going to be the end of the video I hope you guys did enjoy this mod showcase on another masterpiece from GTA Wise Guy if you did please smash the like and if you haven't already want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content and until next time guys I'm out adios